What's up YouTube? PJ back with another video for you guys. And I just actually got back from the pull apart because Mikey had me over here disassembling a diff out of, what was it, a Lexus? GS430. A GS430 because he always breaking stuff on his car. But now I'm out here and like I told you last video, I need to remove my dash once again because I can't install my AFR gauge. Well, I can, but it will make it hard for me to take the dash out again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take the dash out right now and I'm about to get started with that. Step one that I need to do, I need to remove these seats. And that's easy because the driver's seat is on by four bolts and then you have to undo the little power clip thing that's under the seat, but that's easy. And the passenger seat is just the four bolts. So let me go and get started with it. All right, now I got the seats out and I can actually sit in here and think about what I'm doing. But I actually did this before and the next step is for me to move this center console and this around a shifter and get all that cleared away. I actually wanna warn you guys if you're gonna be doing this cause I already broke my shifter. Um, don't pull on this too hard, even though you're supposed to get it up as far as it can go, but just don't pull on it too hard because you'll end up breaking it. And I'll show you that once I'm finished. Uh, I need to still get this welded back on down here, but I didn't do that yet. All right, so just a little clarification. This is what I was talking about. I pulled too hard and this bolt came out of this hole right here. As you can see, it's broken right there. So I would need to get this press back down and weld it in order for my e-brake to not be as funky. I mean, it moves around uh, willy-nilly and stuff when it's down, but hey, I was living with it for a while. But I'm gonna get that welded back soon. All right, now it's time for me to go ahead and take the radio and all of this stuff out and then go ahead and start working on the steering wheel and the steering column. Um, I need to undo bolts and sensors and things under there. So let me get a time lapse of that. I hope you guys are enjoying this time lapse because this is my first time actually doing a time lapse and not explaining my way through just because it will take more time for me to explain it all. And I'm sorry about that, but let's keep this show going. I've already done it, but be sure to not to forget there's a harness under the, what is this, the fender liner that you have to undo. It comes out with a 10 millimeter socket and it's connected to, oh, you can see it now. It's connected to this right here that goes through the firewall inside of the car and you can't take the dash out without unplugging this. All right, so fast forward a little bit. You see I got the whole dash taken out. And it had this box right here that I had to take out. And in order for me to do that, I had to basically spend an hour or so unloosing these AC lines right here and the silver one down here. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, the silver one. And so I did all of that to get the box out. I had to unloosen some of these vacuum lines. And now here I am with the box out. And to change the evaporator core, I believe that lays right here and the heater core lays flat. 
right here under these four screws so i'm gonna take these out and see what i have under there day two all right y'all so we're back with day two of this video because yesterday let me tell you where i left off um i had to saw this open actually with my dremel and i just sealed it back up because the evaporator core you couldn't really get to it unless you had to dremel it out so i did that and what me and mikey just did we fixed my e-brake because he came up with this brilliant idea where i just used a bolt a couple of washers and a nut and i went through the bottom with the bolt and the washers and uh screwed the nut on the top with the washer and now look at it it's back in perfect form but now i'm just gonna continue with the time lapse because we need to put all this stuff back together so i can finally get my car running well i just remembered i can't get my car running because I did break one of these heater hose lines, this one right here. If you remember, I changed out this line already because it was dry rotted and I wasn't thinking I should have got another one and just went on ahead and changed this out, but I didn't do that. I already ordered it from Rock Auto for overnight shipping, so it's gonna be here tomorrow. So yeah, I can't really start it today, but let me go ahead and throw this dash back in here. Eventually. All right, y'all. I just finished up putting my dash back in, and that took quite a long time. I stopped recording just because I had to get the stuff done. I mean, it was the second day and I didn't feel like prolonging it until the next day. But this is just about where I'm gonna end today's video. If you like this video, go ahead and let me know in the comment section below. Just let me know about the time-lapse style of video and if you guys think I should keep on doing those types of videos for a certain thing, such as this one. But yeah, uh, I'm not gonna go too long with this because I'm hungry and I'm ready to go out inside and eat. Always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank y'all for watching.